Last time on The Great Ace Attorney 2. It was Scarlet, as I remember it. The document was written in Scarlet ink. Scarlet coloured ink stains were noted on the fingers of the victim's right hand. Now, I'm not familiar with the habits of the British aristocracy, but I would hazard a guess that they don't all go around with ink stains on their fingertips, do they? My brother was a well-bred and fastidious man. Should ink have sullied his fingertips, he would have cleaned them immediately. As you know, the Van Zeeks family always have a satchel of wet wipes. I remember the lid of my brother's inkwell was open, and no document penned in the color of the ink that was in the inkwell was ever found. So the document had disappeared. Are you suggesting that the document my father had in his hand that night was- The same document that Lord Clint Van Zeeks was writing moments before his death. If Mr. Vigil's testimony is to be believed, it can only mean that. It was the last will and testament of Lord Clint Van Zeeks. So what could the will possibly have contained? There can be no question that the will contained information of the utmost secrecy. The only explanation that fits those facts is an unthinkable truth. Ten years ago, in his final moments, Lord Clint Van Zeeks left behind a will. A will that Genshin Asogi was able to use as a weapon to negotiate his escape from prison. In all probability, the details in the will were related to the Professor case and his true identity. Lord Van Zeeks, I appreciate this must be hard to take in. The killer that terrorized London a decade ago and became known as the Professor wasn't Genshin Asogi at all. It was in fact the man believed to have been the fifth victim, Lord Clint Van Zeeks himself! Oh my god. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's ironic, really, and somewhat surprising that the truth has once again been unearthed by a Japanese. What do you mean? Ten years ago, your father, Genshin Asogi, turned up at my office one night. He's using his noble status as a diversion while he commits these atrocious crimes behind the scenes! I turned down Asogi's plea, and as a result, he took it upon himself to visit the Van Zeke's mansion on his own. We know the outcome, of course. I was the only person who knew of the true identity of the Professor. S so you're admitting to it? That you were behind it all? I did what needed to be done in order to protect the law and order of the British Empire. Hello and welcome to another episode of Dissolution Plays The Great Ace Attorney 2 Resolve, where we play the games. And... Are you not gonna, no? Okay. Do the voices! Do, do the voices. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Improvisation! We have to. We don't do it. <laughs> uh, I'm Pete. I'm Sarah. And I'm Taylor. Guys, guys, if we're gonna do the Disillusioned Plays Game Changer Edition, we've got to work on our improvisational <laughs> skills before we do it. We can't we can't be having breakdowns in communication like this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that is a thing, isn't it? Breakdown in communication is like what we're kind of known for. Yeah, to be fair, to be fair. Or I, I can think of something in my head, but then my mouth doesn't work and it's like, yeah, they'll screw that. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose, yeah, we're known for like our breakdown in communication and our tangents and and our <laughs> extremely long introductions. Indeed. Which I don't know what, you know, I, I don't know why people would think that at all. Let's, so uh, what gave them that looking impression? over at the time and and uh, that's probably been about enough time. If you do find yourself enjoying today's episode, why don't you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and ring the bell. And if you are still enjoying our content and want something else to do or want something else to watch, we do have quite a lot of other content at this point. So if you'd like to catch up with some of our other stuff, why don't you check out some of our other playlists? And if you're already caught up, as I know some of you actually are, yes. holy crap. Wowzers. <laughs> thank you for supporting us. Yes, thank you for uh, joining us. And we're sorry. Us. We're, we're and sorry that you had to listen to us for hundreds of hours. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but we appreciate you. We do very much so. Just before we hop on in, this is Pete and Sarah. Well, this is Dissolution Plays from the Future. Woo, Completely <laughs> forgot to mention this in the introduction, so sorry about this. But we had some awesome fan art from Doodle Squish oh, that we yes. just couldn't not mention. Yeah, I know so <laughs> there is plenty more. But we were so excited to share it, yeah, she, we couldn't wait. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's super, super cool. And I just, yeah, we just had to sort of show it. So, Like, your dedication is just 
amazing because like my god like you've put a lot of effort into that like obviously you will only see the one here but there's more and they're equally as good yes so, she's been wow. giving us little hints she's, <laughs> she's been giving us hints and we can't wait to see them all fully done but yes our understanding is there's going to be some more coming and so we can't wait we're so excited and so with that Wee. thank you ever so much Wee. and we're gonna get back in so just before we carry on again <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, but I've just got to put this out there. So, Oh, your theory. Yeah, so oh, you know yeah. when you're, like, you know, you're in the shower and you have random shower thoughts? Yeah, because you can't do anything else, and so your no. brain actually Yeah, engages. like, I, I, I love in the sh when I'm in the shower, and then my <laughs> internal monologue is like, why am I here? Is this what life really is? I can't believe the state that the world is in at the minute. Is this really what I have to look forward I to? I mean, Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. Like that? <laughs> Taylor, that... Pe d d I mean, probably 90% of the time that's me having an existential crisis. But on this occasion, I wasn't having an <laughs> existential crisis. And um, yeah, so obviously, like, we've had the thing. Taylor called the thing with, like, uh, you know, Clint being the professor. Spoilers. Don't watch this video. Go watch the other one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not a spoiler because we're at that point. Well, this is I know, the, this is the but if someone forward. suddenly decides well, to come in. what if the algorithm recommends them in the wrong yeah. order? Well, well this yeah, is it. okay. If this it, yeah. is it. If, if, you've, if you've got to this point, go watch the other one and if you tune out it. right now. But anyway, yes. Um, tangent. So, yeah, I had a theory because at the moment there seems to be a, a shomes shaped hole that has not been filled yet. <laughs> That's a really weird Don't way of putting it. Don't be rude. Very strange way of putting so it. So, I have this wild theory that I wonder if the true identity of Iris's father is Clint. Because we have found out he's got a widow now. She is 10 years old. Not the widow. She, not the widow, Iris. Of, I will, <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm excited, okay? <laughs> yeah. I could I be totally Clint wrong. Is the, is the, is the, fa oh, interesting. Let's, interesting. Let, her, let I her say it. Let I could be it. totally wrong and everyone could call me out and call me a fool, but this is just my theory. And like, she, like, Clint's widow was pregnant with Iris and either, like, either there was the shame, she didn't want the kid to know, like, who her father was or she just didn't want it. And then there's the whole thing with the Hound of the Baskervilles manuscript and... It's locked away. Shown says he can't, she, like, she couldn't release it. And then we've got the thing of like, uh, Strongheart's like, well, no one will ever know about my involvement because this is a closed court. There's no evidence wet left of the will. And I'm wondering if either the will is in the manuscript or the manuscript contains clues of its actual content. That's why she can't release Ooh. it. I mean, there is another thing with that as well. <laughs> like, Iris is like the only other person in the game who has brightly colored hair. Mm. The only other characters in the game who have hair that isn't just like brown, black, blonde is the Van Zeeks lot because their hair's yeah. purple mm -hmm. and Iris's hair is pink. And we don't know what her mum looks like. Yeah, so, so I mean, it, it's not, I don't know, it's probably just a nothing. But anyway, like... thank you everyone for entertaining my probably very bad theory. <laughs> thank... I will get into it then. And for, <laughs> and for those of you who just skipped over this, bleh. Yeah, well, don't worry, it wasn't anything important. <laughs> unless it was. Unless it was. <clears throat> I have one last question. For the accused Lord Van Zee. <coughs> I hate it when they put the navel in. <sighs> what? I'm brooding. Of course, I know that you're a highly accomplished prosecutor. So I find it hard to believe that you didn't have any doubts at all. That you never suspected your older brother? This spot on the wall is very interesting. <laughs> yes, the same thought occurred to me. It was only once, but yes. I couldn't say that I never had my doubts. Oh. <gasps> my brother's sense of justice was extremely strong. Perhaps too strong, I observed. Too strong heart. <coughs> At that time, there were members of the aristocracy who were bleeding the country dry for their <laughs> own gain. <laughs> Not like happen. now! Not like now! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And since they were nobles, they were untouchable. 
For my brother, it was a source of great turmoil. Uh, <laughs> hmm. And coincidentally, at the same time, the professor began his terrifying reign. During the time of the professor killings, my brother did not appear to be himself. No wonder. <laughs> and that made you suspect? Yes. But it was only once. Not more. Only once? Really? Did I stutter? <laughs> Clint wasn't the culprit. That was my conclusion at the time. And I still believe that now. Do you have any evidence to support that idea? <sighs> the third victim was the Lord Chief Justice at the time. It was he who had recognized my brother's potential and trained him as a prosecutor. Hmm. No matter what the circumstances, it's unthinkable that my brother could have killed his friend and mentor. Well, that a bet Strongheart would have to yeah. rise to power. Mm. <laughs> <sighs> that will do. Oh. Guilty that conscience. will do. <clears throat> <laughs> Neither Clint Van Zeeks nor Genshin Imba. God damn it. <laughs> Neither Clint Van Zeeks nor Genshin Asogi still walk this earth. I haven't even done that bit recently. <laughs> I know, no. but the thing is, you know, when you do when you do do something like quite a bit at one point, it then becomes like a thing in your mind that sticks. Ingrained. Do you know, as the guy who forgets everything, but does remember very specific random things here and there, that's that's one of the things that you've, you know, carefully placed into my brain and pushed out other useful information with. So thank right, you. Right, right, right. Because Pete has his brain attic, but the problem is I've got the ladder to Pete's brain attic. And then sometimes they'll just kind of go up there and I'll just chuck out random things, like important <laughs> dates or whatever. And I'll just put in a meme or two. And then he'll come back up there and it's like, well, there was something useful up here. <laughs> but I don't remember where it was. I'll go oh. up there and be like, I have no memory of this place. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just, oh my god, yeah, you haven't got, yeah, the mind attic, not the mind palace. That's it. <laughs> However much we debate this matter now, we cannot hope to reach a conclusion. Editor's note. <laughs> but, but... I think it might be time for bunny ears, guys. <laughs> <laughs> there are only two extant, 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 extant. There are only two extant pieces <laughs> of evidence from the time. Are you quite all I right, know. Lord Strongheart? <laughs> yeah. The woebegone ring that acted as the incriminating evidence to condemn Genshin Asogi, and the three-page last will and testament penned in black ink, left behind by the man. Left behind by the man. The wretched truth of what happened is exactly as I have explained. Core blimey. Mm. Later today, thank you, Court Symphony, for stopping. <laughs> I will present myself at the Ministry of Justice for whatever sanction is deemed appropriate. I imagine a mild tap on the wrist. <laughs> that is all. Court is adjourned. Hold it. Oop. Objection! Uh, <sighs> mm. Yeah. Oh yeah! Come on, Rudo. <laughs> Thank you, Kazuma. No, I, I, actually, it wasn't Kazuma what? speaking. It was me. <laughs> uh, me? Him? <laughs> yes. <Me? laughs> if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have made this eleventh-hour discovery. Ooh. What discovery? My lord! I'm afraid. I must insist the trial continues. Ooh, I, do, I do like the sinister strange. I do. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Oh, I'm sorry. I insist that the trial continue! <clears throat> As the court has been reminded today, today already, we must stop at nothing to uncover the whole truth. And nothing but the truth, so help you God. Yes. Yes. And to that end, one particular statement made by somebody in this courtroom moments ago. <laughs> hopefully, uh -oh. hopefully not last episode. 
<laughs> yeah, oh boy, whisper. Revealed a very subtle contradiction. I'm feeling a safety save coming I on. I feel like sir, the same, yes. <clears throat> what contradiction? Well, my enlightened friends at Disillusioned Play shall immediately present it to you on the first try and get it correct. <laughs> How surprising. Wait, why are you saving? Bruno, Bruno, no, no, they don't will do use this to the us. They will use the power of determination to get it correct first time. Definitely. But all I did was ask the accused one simple question. Hmm. Well... It began with Lord Van Seeks and his recollection about his brother. Oh, thank God for Suzato and her book. <laughs> <laughs> you would be lost without me. <laughs> yes. But Lord Strongheart didn't permit the defendant to speak at length. Oh, it was the mentor bit. Yes. Yeah. I merely pointed out that we can draw no further useful conclusions here. So where on earth is the contradiction? The contradink. Contradinky dink. <laughs> just vigil. One of them. <laughs> Daily Vigil and Caden at the side. I just keep seeing like a flash of them. <laughs> just like, it's like, oh, what, uh, what's going on here? Uh, what's up then? Can't really get it. One of them definitely just said something contradictory. It's time to identify who. Contradictory. Would it be Strongheart because there is something more? or I would this have to it. imagine that, yeah. I would there say is Lord so, because he wanted yeah. him to stop. Yeah. Because I would imagine Van Zeeks would have carried on, like, because, yeah, he was... Oh, what did he, he say? He said he, like, he, he found it unbelievable that Clint would kill his kill best his, friend, yes, and, friend mentor. and mentor. Or oh, wait, there are only two pieces of evidence from the time, the, the will and the ring. Do we have more evidence well, that's not resolved? He said black... Does oh, he well, we don't, we don't have the red inked will, yeah. Yes. I noticed he said black ink as well, and was like, Because huh. Clint's, we established, was written in scarlet ink. Yes. Right. Yes. But does he, is he, is he meaning Genshin? Hang on. Or hang is on. he, is he still referring to Clint in that? Let me just look up It's the word No, because Clint, because Clint wrote his will in red ink, which is why it was on his fingers. Left behind That was by his confession. Yeah. Left, left behind by the man. It's just, yeah, because. The man referring to Genshin Asogi. Yes. Yeah, because obviously Genshin's the piece of paper with Genshin was written in black ink. So is he? Refer I guess he's referring to Genshin in those two instances with the the ink. Right. So we do still have evidence, which is the will penned by Clint Van Zeeks in scarlet ink, which we have yet to locate, which is where the shulm shaped hole in the <laughs> evidence <laughs> will probably that? manifest itself. No, I think of my brother. So I'm thinking that my brother would have killed his friend and mentor. And then Strongheart. But Strongheart has a motive. Because he he wanted to be the Lord Chief Justice because, you know, he's wanted to make... He'll have wanted to rise to power, so... But that's not a contradiction, really. That's a motive, but it's not a contradiction. No, I know... Yeah, I feel like... So I think, the only... I think it's going to be the will thing. Yeah, I think that's the yeah. only thing to me that's, like, a bit strange. I mean, the thing is that like, they're saying it's like the last a no, 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 Sarah. It's... I think you're entirely right. I think that there, that he would have had a strong thing, uh, motive to bump him off. I just don't think that that's it's not a contradiction to the stuff we have in evidence. Mm. See, the thing is, is yeah, like this here, it's saying this is the last will of uh, will and testament of Genshin Asogi, and it is written in black ink, assuming that the picture is relevant. Yeah, uh, the, the, we 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 have right, established no, no, no. that is the, the, yeah. what Genshin had was. Clint's will, which was his weapon. This will is complete bullcrap. Yes. Genshin had Clint's will written in red ink yes. in his jail cell. Yes. And then when he got killed, or when he, whatever, after the, the, the plot, they took Clint's will, replaced it with his own will before mm -hmm. they, you know, yeah, or after okay. they had uh, and, betrayed him. Yeah, and the order came from the prosecutor's office, the directive to Caden was from the prosecutor's office to get the will back. <laughs> you, you lot didn't and, see that. And um, Strongheart did speak to Genshin, so, and he knew, he knew that Genshin had it. So, so it's yeah, got to be Strongheart. Strongheart's the one that's, yeah. Sorry, Taylor, I keep cutting you off. That's Sorry. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. It was Lord Strongheart. I'm sure of it. Something he said was slightly off. Come on, will you know, Think back over his words. Find the problem. 
Neither Clint Van Zeeks nor Genshin Asogi still walk this earth. However much we debate this matter now, we cannot hope to reach a conclusion. Should have said it in an angry voice. There are only two extant pieces of Peters? Peters. pieces Peters. of evidence from the time. The woe-begone ring that acted as the incriminating evidence to condemn Genshin Asogi. And the three-page last w wait a second. Wait! No. Three pages. pages. There's two. Two. Oh, there oh. it is. There it is. Oh, so yeah, it oh. is referring to that. So how do you know? Oh, so, <laughs> well done. <laughs> Task failed successfully. Well done, but well, well done for catching that, because well yeah, done. I didn't even think. Yeah. <laughs> In black ink. Pete, Pete is the only member of Disillusion Place who can count to three. <laughs> <laughs> and so Guys. I've got I've got one up on okay. Valve software. Everyone in the comments, hashtag Peter Smart. Oh. Yes, hashtag ah, Peter Smart. Hashtag Pete can count to three. <laughs> I don't need hashtag Pete can count to three. That doesn't feel like a that no, doesn't feel like no. a compliment. Honestly, hashtag that feels Pete like an insult. Is smart. Everyone else has had and what the Pete needs page, one. And the three page last will and testament penned in black ink, left behind by the man. Left behind also by the man. Black ink is yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because he's, he's not referring yeah. to Clint's will. He's referring to oh, what to we have yeah, yeah. Strongheart, would you care to explain? Explain what, Council? Among these statements you made just a few moments ago, something you said was inconsistent with a certain piece of evidence we have. Inconsistent? <laughs> yeah, boy. Inconsistent. <laughs> inconsistent? <laughs> inconsistent. Don't play me, boy. <laughs> And whilst an inconsistency remains, the defense has a right to pursue an explanation. Yeah, we do. Yadosuke, but what? You mean you haven't noticed it either, Kazuma? I'm disappointed. Let me warn you about the statements you are making, Council. They may well, <laughs> they may very well prove fatal. Yeah, for you, boy. You claim my words contained a contradiction. With which piece of evidence, I ask you? Genshin's will. Bum ba da bum. Take that! Yeah. This here is the will left behind by Mr. Asogi. The two-paged <laughs> will. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> and I bet, and I bet, he'll be confusing it with the real will, which yeah. was three pages. I bet, I bet that's mm -hmm. what that is. Uh -huh. and it's just a mental, like, mishap. Yeah. A misremembering. Yet, moments ago, your precise words were... The three-page last will and testament. I don't sound anything <laughs> like that. <laughs> ah! Could it be that originally... There was a third page? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> For a moment, I thought perhaps you'd identified something worthwhile. But it's a mere trifle, I see. A trifle? Yes. Raspberry? You know, <laughs> you know a sponge, fruit, and custard-based dessert. Sarah, you are still hungry. You're thinking about trifle now. <laughs> I, I actually don't really like trifle very much. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I guess we've just not had a nice enough trifle. They're a bit meh, It's aren't a they? bit, yeah, it's not oh, excited. You could say they're a bit chaffly. Governor Caden! Oh. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, what can I do for you, sir? Wait, what no, can no, I no, do for Pete, you, sir? Pete. Sir! No, darling. Sir! <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh. Eh? What, what can I do for you, sir? You were present when the Japanese man penned his last will and testament. Uh, aye! I was there for sure. I remember the black worm like scrawls to this day. Sarah, what's and a worm? Is it worm? Worm. worm. Like worm. Oh, Wareham. Oh. Worm-like. He's, yeah, he's, he's Scottish. He's Scott, yeah, it's, he's, uh, it's and, written how, he's, uh, how I, he pronounces I it. I cannot believe I did not understand. <laughs> <laughs> Even the ghost is a shame. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm quite certain, my lord. There was a third page oh. at the time. Oh. There was a third page at the time. <laughs> what? Uh, only, only the first two pages were the actual will, though. If I mind correctly, the third was a message to his <gasps> lad back in Japan. Oh, and they took it. 
For legal purposes, we required only his will. Oh, but what was it? Do you think it was a code or something? And, <laughs> and we wouldn't they have wanted any uh, uncomfortable words about Britain to get back <gasps> to Japan, eh? And so, it was decided that the third page ought not to be sent. OBJECTION! How dare you make that decision! I had a right to know what it said! To hear my father's final words to me! The courtroom is no place for sentimentality, Council. <laughs> As it happens, I... <laughs> I've yes! uh, been keeping the third Kate page of the document <laughs> down my pants for no reason. In my pant pocket, I mean. I could. Uh, uh, my uh, back uh, pocket. On second thoughts, I don't want to know. I didn't mean <laughs> down my underpants. <laughs> listen, listen. Sometimes a man runs out of either kitchen paper or toilet <laughs> paper or napkin, <laughs> and you just you need to keep something on hand. I eh? just, I just uh, like, I like dude. that in your joke, you. I like that you said you prioritise kitchen paper over toilet paper in that. <laughs> <laughs> like, Taylor likes the rough feel of kitchen he paper. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> uh, as it happens, I have the third page of the document with me here now. Oh, my, my father's message. Oh, it seems awfully convenient. I, it will be given to you at the end of these oh, proceedings. Oh no, 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 boy! I want it now. I want to know what it says now. <laughs> It'll be too late once the trial is over. We need to know what it says now. Even the slightest thing may give us a vital clue. My lord! Oh, for pity's sake. <laughs> the defense calls for Genshin Impact's last words to his son to be read out loud before the court now. <laughs> You're ruining the dramatic moment! <laughs> Genshin Impact? I can't say I've ever heard of him. Genshin Asogi. Oh! Then why don't you just say that then? Your request is denied. The inevitability <laughs> sorry, the inevitably maudlin words can be of no consequence now. Yes, Editor's they note! Can't. The inevitably yes, maudlin can't. words would have been of some consequence. <laughs> be Objection! I say, I knew be Kazuma. The prosecution agrees. The court should know the content of that message. Let's really hope it's not like, love you, son. <laughs> That's it. Oh, no. <laughs> and then it's like, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> no, 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 no. Son. I write to you with the most desperate of requests. Underneath my bed, there is a stack of magazines. <laughs> <laughs> I you must them retrieve you. them, my son. You must burn and them. And throw them into the ocean. <laughs> your mother can never see them and do not look at them. This is your last request from your father. This is your father's dying request. Oh, yes. Oh my I God. I mean, that's that's the code, right? Like Pete and Sarah, if I die, you have to come over here and delete my browser history. That's just I how mean, it And yeah. that's all it is. We that's that's bro code right there. <laughs> oh my God. Every possible piece of evidence must be thoroughly examined. Very well so then, Governor Caden. You will read the third <laughs> page of the document for all present to hear. Well, uh, I can't read Warren Scroll. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Only I uh, should point out, my lord, that I can't actually read Warren language. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, wow. but I mean, of course he was going to say that. Rude. I can't actually read Warren. This beautiful handwriting. Oh, wait, no, oh, no, no, it's no. got to be Shams. This B Barry. Who knows him as Barry? Barry. Unless it's, it's Makotoba? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Well, uh, it, we'll see who it is, and then we'll, I'll redo the voice. Oh, oh okay. it is you. Yes, yep, okay, okay. Excuse me. <clears throat> All right, Makotoba, shush a minute. We'll, we'll get to you. <laughs> this beautiful handwriting. A shame on you, Barry. <laughs> if I could be of assistance here, I would be happy to translate the words into English for the court. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> you're still here, are you, <laughs> Dr. Makotoba? Like a bad smell. Naturally. I consider myself a member of the judiciary, albeit a lowly one. Oh, no, you did not. But perhaps I should quietly withdraw after I've translated Genshin's message. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Girl! <laughs> your cooperation is much appreciated. <laughs> 
In the same way that Pete much appreciates my puns and sense of humor. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. Cosima, the truth is shrouded in darkness. A darkness only our clan's great sword can pierce. So is there something oh my God. on the damn Was sword? I right? Was the will in the hilt of the oh. sword? We just looked at the banana too damn early. Well, no, it's not. Yeah, it just like Baby. it literally doesn't even give us the option. Oh. Mighty Karama, twist thy, <laughs> twist thy head, and watch them fall. All thy mortal Ooh. foes, oh. and it's literally there. Oh my God! If this is, oh my God! <laughs> I'm going to lose my head if this is the case. You could say, That's... twist your head, and then it comes off. Oh, no. That's the end of the message, it would seem. A haiku poem. Twist thy head. Come on, guys. It's so obvious. <laughs> Father. What is karma? Uh, what's about to bite you in the ass? Yeah. <laughs> the name of the Asogi clan's famous sword. A razor-sharp blade known to all, passed down for generations. It embodies the Japanese spirit. Or at least it did until I broke the tip off and now the spirit's probably escaped, so. Well. <laughs> yeah. It's not known to me. It's the katana sword that was submitted as evidence early in these proceedings. I lovingly referred to it as sticky. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind the, the residue from the googly eyes. The one worn <laughs> by the prosecution Indecent. counsel when he confronted Inspector Gregson. Okay. So, do you think... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. All these procrastinations are beginning to try my patience. Adjournment of this court is long overdue. The Do you mind? Excuse the slight, me. The slight <laughs> thud as his staff hits his hand. It's like, ooh. Excuse me. I was talking. Just wait. Just wait. Mighty Karama, oh. twist thy head and watch them fall. All thy mortal foes. That's the proper way to use the sword, is it? Maybe I should try it. It hurts my neck. That's the trouble. It hurts your neck? Neck? <laughs> Just, I, I guess, imagining twisting or twisting the head of something else. Uh, oh no, he's twisting oh, his head. Oh, he's literally head. twisting his head. <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> Ryunosuke! Ryunosuke, my dude! Oh, jeez. Um, Mr. Narahodo, um, if I may make a suggestion. I do like the idea of, like, Mr. Narahodo, my dude. <laughs> like, what is this? What are you doing? <laughs> Do you have a braided man? Oh my god. I don't think so. I Mr. Think... Narohodo, my guy. Come on. <laughs> really. We after everything we've been through. I think perhaps it doesn't mean your head. Oh. <laughs> I once studied the history and development development of the katana some time ago. But as I'm sure you're probably aware. The sword's head is the part at the very end of the hilt. Okay, you don't really need to study katanas for a long period of time to figure out what's going on. Well, Ryanosuke obviously does. Yeah. I, I guess. He uses a bow, apparently. Yeah. He never used a sword. Well, he actually does, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he does. He's it's got not, the, he's it's got not the really referred thing. to. I think it's like in the, is it the Japanese version? I can't remember. I think it's, there's, there's a version where it's heavily, I don't know if it's a fan translation or the, but it's like heavily implied that he's into archery. Because that's why yeah. he's got the, the, the wrist thing, Yeah, right? but it doesn't have it here. <laughs> For whatever reason. It's not mentioned in ours. It's written as head in Japanese, but it's pronounced as kashira, I believe. I mean, nice, but also I don't think that's relevant right now. Kashira. I think. What are you two doing over there? Never you bite. <laughs> so Mr. Zasoki's words really mean twist to the butt of the hilt. Uh, I think you're getting a little distracted. But... You, you don't think? Yes, I oh. do think, which is why I suggested a few. Oh, oh, God! <laughs> no! Oh, oh, oh. no way! <laughs> I've been here the whole time. Oh. I God. called it! I so called it! Oh, oh my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> just, 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 mm, we looked I, at the banana before we got I, the picture of it. Yep, I, 
I renounce to being hashtag Sarah is dumb. You and Taylor oh. is Taylor is hashtag big brain. You renounce <laughs> no. that you're dumb and say that Taylor's uh, got a big brain. I, yes. I renounce my Sarah's title. Sarah's no, 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 Sarah, you've renounced that you're dumb. No, That's good. No, We're no, making no, progress. No, I'm taking that. I Susano mean, has no. said ah. Nope. It's already established. <laughs> there you go. Yep. You said it. <laughs> Look what's inside it. Is, is that? Yes, a cigarette. A tightly wound piece of parchment? Sure looks like it. Oh, oh there oh, it is. Oh, there in it Scarlet. Is. FML. Oh, you know, it's funny, because the, wow. the first um, case of Sherlock Holmes is called A Study in Scarlet. Scarlet, yeah. yeah. Which is, I actually just got done reading. Oh, nice. It's Scarlet Ink! It's written in Scarlet Ink! I penned this, my last will and testament, in the final moments before my inevitable and willing death. This... this is it, isn't it? Mr. Narodo, look at the signature at the end! So it says... <laughs> Clint Van Zeeks. And the date. Ten years ago, on that fateful night. If, you know, and all they had to do was confiscate the sword, and they were like, Oh no, it'd be fine, you're not gonna kill anyone with that, it's fine. <sighs> <laughs> so for ten years, doing. it's been silently concealed in, inside Karuma, and nobody knew. Good job nobody dropped it into the ocean on the set on the boat mm. or anything like that. The last will and testament of Lord Clint Van Zeeks. Oh. Wait. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This is un. You know, Ske, uh, I am know. begging you <laughs> to elaborate. <laughs> I am begging you. Come on. This is unbelievable. Oh my oh, God. God. You <laughs> bastard. Come on. <laughs> Look at this. It's unbelievable. Oh my God. Isn't going to relax. Wow. And we can't look at it. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh, you. Oh. Mm. Okay, come on, guys. Just come on. dangling that carrot an inch away from our nose. All these procrastinations are beginning to try my patience. Adjournment of this court is long overdue. As the presiding judge, I have been as accommodating as possible of the will of the courtroom. However, despite all that, no new information has come to light. Oh, no, I wouldn't be so sure. Gasp. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> I am curious about where the bunny ears are going to come in. Mm. At this I hope point. we haven't missed like an opportunity. I would have oh, thought that so. would be annoying, wouldn't it? Yeah, because I know somebody said there was some funny dialogue, but they did. Yeah, there was a comment I read like saying there's like a bit with the the ears, and <gasps> it would be like the wildest piece of dialogue. Oh yeah. And I'm like, I don't know if it's like we needed to do it or. The, I would have thought the game would have prompted, but I don't know. That'd be really unfortunate if yeah, we'd missed that. <laughs> In pursuit of justice, Lord Clint Van Zeeks tragically lost all sense of morality <clears throat> when he murdered his former mentor. Clearly, he was already devoid of his normal faculties. More like you were. Objection! How dare you! I refuse to believe that of my brother! Too much time has passed. We cannot ever hope to know more than we do now. Especially since the alleged will that he penned in his final <laughs> moments appears to have been lost forever. Oh, <laughs> baby! Lord Strongheart, you appear to be in something of a hurry to wrap things up. I wonder why. Because I'm guilty AF. <laughs> We've heard you state time and time again during these proceedings, time and again, sorry, that everything you did was in the interests of protecting British law and order. And I stand by that. Not for your own personal stand gain, then. Stand by that. Without the Reaper, we could never have achieved the reduction in crime the capital has seen. Objection! <laughs> What about Inspector Gregson, then? Hmm. And Dr. Wilson. Hmm. They were no criminals. 
You used them to achieve your ends, and then you had them killed! However you dress it up, there was nothing fair or just about that! <laughs> Lord Strongheart, what exactly is it that you're hiding? Dr. Makotaba, were you not to quietly withdraw after the translation of your former associate's will? In this courtroom, no argument carries weight unless it is supported by evidence. <laughs> and it would seem that the defense has no more evidence to present. Oh, boy. And I'm going to do a safety save because I may actually present the bunny ears. <laughs> now that you've said it, I'm like, because now I'm... I don't... Oh, God. That's why I'm doing the safety save. You shush. <laughs> No, no, we're going to go on another 15-minute loop of trying to find where the funny bit of dialogue is, and then it's going to be no, one not. hour, no, and then we're not, not going to be no, able to not. wrap it up. No, we're not. If it's wrong, I'll just load the save. It'll take two ticks. You shush. <laughs> In which case... I hereby order all discourse from these proceedings oh. to be struck! From the record! Oh no, boy! Oh no! You ain't getting away with it that easily, mate. Oh, not a chance. I just... <laughs> I love that he thinks he can do that. I like, know. I, 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 don't know. I don't know who he thinks he is, because I think even... Well, he can. He's the this... presiding judge. No, he can. I, no, I know that. But surely, like, if this was happening in real life, if this, you know, if you were literally sat here and the presiding judge was doing that, you'd be like... You what, mate? Yeah, probably not now, but serious? this is like, yeah. I feel like you'd rebel. Like, you'd, there'd be I, something. I, I don't know. You'd riot. If, if anything, the, the whole thing with Eileen Cannon is proving that a lot of that is still very much alive, at least in the U.S., because mm. she's doing a whole bunch of shady crap and she can't be held accountable for it. Mm. Anyway, this is my last chance. Mr. Nerodo. I have to present some decisive evidence now, or it's all over. But can I? Yes, we can. We, yes, can. we can. Yes, we can. <laughs> yes, we can. Yes, yes we can. can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> Wait, my lord. As it happens, the defense does have evidence to present. Oh, the music. <laughs> what? Don't be absurd. <laughs> Yes. There is nothing of relevance remaining from the time. <laughs> yes, there is. Objection! It's high time that you realize something, my lord. <laughs> this gentleman has an uncanny <laughs> habit of producing evidence. Oh, wait, guys! At he referred final... to him as a gentleman. He did. He did. Of producing evidence at the final hour that had escaped everyone else's attention. <laughs> Nonsense. What is it, Ryanosuke? What do you have? The bunny. <laughs> <laughs> a bunny. It's a bunny. <laughs> Taylor's getting so annoyed. He's like, God damn it, Pete. I dare say. Oh, no. <laughs> the final decisive piece of evidence that will reveal the whole truth about this rotten tale. See, it is funny because I do the feel way that really it's, bad. The way I feel really bad. It up, <laughs> How... how can you... Decisive? Oh, he's, he's, he's de sweating. De decisive? He's sweating. <laughs> no, I'm not going to save it. Well, it would appear there's no escaping it now, my lord. <laughs> Let it be so, then. Present whatever you think you have that can settle this decade-old enigma. If you're capable... What exactly is this evidence that the defense claims to be so decisive? I would save it now. No, because... because no, we're going to have to go through all the dialogue again. Yeah, but it only takes us so far. <laughs> I'm not trying to ruin it's your It's the fun. branch. It's the branch. Hopefully now we don't need to say that we don't... I mean, we do have evidence. It's fine, I guess. Bunny. Bunny. Take, Take that! that! What did I say, counsel? If you're capable, were my words. Uh, 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 ah! And this evidence clearly demonstrates you're not. You're only capable of destroying your own argument. Oh, that really sucked. Yeah, okay. I yeah. was hoping nope. it would be funny. No. 
Oh. We know that it's so easy. That was rubbish. Okay, let's. Good. <laughs> I have a feeling we've missed the part. I, that I guess we may have done. Unless, okay. unless it's one of those where in the original games, they'd be like the bit right at the very end where it'd be like, why did you present this random bit of evidence to make somebody feel good? You know, like mm, after the case. Maybe. And maybe it's oh, yeah. That. Hang on, let me just... Oh, I had the tick, so it's probably not. Jarrett yeah, she's probably just going to say that, yeah. Are you all right? Yeah, sorry. Just wondering. Sure, we'll find out what the time is. Yeah. But I want to know. Okay. Okay, boys. Come on. <sighs> Take that! <laughs> there is a single piece of evidence that can clarify what really happened ten years ago. Oh. A last will and testament of Lord Clint Van Zeeks. <laughs> a wonderfully astute observation, I'm sure. But in case it had escaped your notice, that document... <laughs> was lost long ago. <laughs> That's right, it was. Only... I have it right here. <laughs> discovered just moments ago. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> uh, in impossible! It can't be! You're going down, son! <laughs> Everything that's happened comes back to this will. This document is the key that will unlock the entire mystery. <laughs> oh, that's a fix. <laughs> oh. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, My, we got him. We got him. My brother's last will and testament. Where did you find that? <laughs> Sticky to the rescue <laughs> once again. It was rolled up inside this. <laughs> Inside Karama? Kazuma's like, how did you get the sword? I, <laughs> I, I, I had it. It was, it was on my side. What? <laughs> <laughs> it was submitted into evidence. Or, you know, it was just yeah. like, yoink. <laughs> the ultimate weapon Genshin Asogi obtained has lain undisturbed in the hilt of this sword all these years. Just waiting for the right time to emerge and reveal the truth. Oh, my God. The signature and seal certainly look official. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! It's true! It's my brother's handwriting. There can be no mistake. Oh no. I don't know how to feel right now. Bad jo joyful! I, I forbid the contents of that document being read out! Do you hear me? I strictly forbid it! Tough doo doo, mate! Objection! You can't do that, my lord! This document could explain everything! <laughs> That document could literally destroy the meaning of justice in this country! Justice or your, like... I <laughs> demand that you hand it to me at once! No! <laughs> Why? What are you trying to hide? <laughs> oh. Could it be that you already know what's written on this page? Uh, what, what are you implying? Court is adjourned with immediate effect. Clear the courtroom. No. Nope. Objection. Yes. Ooh <laughs> Do that, my lord, and you'll suffer a fatal blow as Lord Ooh. Chief Justice. Yes. Because yes, I down. will stab you through the heart, the strong I, heart. I, I beg your pardon. <laughs> Forcibly ending a trial without a good reason, and not any trial. A closed trial by order of Her Majesty the Queen. To defy the monarch's will is treason! Uh, <laughs> oh, he screwed. Lord Clint Van Zeeks really did pen a will that day. It's exactly as the young Japanese man said. Read, Read it, it out! out. Now. now! We have a right to, we hear, have what's a right to hear what's in that will. A, a right, right and a duty! Well, well, my lord. It would rather appear as though proceedings aren't quite going as you'd hoped. <laughs> aren't going to go quite as you hoped. <laughs> <laughs> you... You fools! <laughs> go ahead, Ryanosuke. Read it. The prosecution gives its full support. Very well, then. 
No! <laughs> For God's sake! <laughs> no! I pen this, <clears throat> I pen this, my last will and testament in the final moments before my inevitable and willing death. The hour is 11 p.m. and I sit at my writing desk in my office. My good friend Asugi stands on my shoulder. He has expressed his intention to invoke the dying ritual of the jewel, that I may depart this world with honor. In honor of which I am utterly undeserving. The Japanese are a truly merciful people. I, Clint Van Zeeks, Lord of the Manor of the Van Zeeks Estate, hereby confess to the following. I am the killer who has come to be known in society as the Professor, guilty of four counts of murder. I will not here discourse the corruption rife among the aristocracy, which is to me, as one of them, so apparent. However, six months ago, I took the life of a member of the House of Lords, the heart of the depravity. A demon who habitually sacrificed the common man to further his own interests, abusing his position of power. The law is impotent against such vile avarice. Only a fellow demon can rid society of this mess. That demon was my quarry, upon whom I willingly set my great hound. But though I am a hunter of some experience, I am a poor felon, it seems. My guilt was at once recognized by another, and I became subject to his extortion. He held over me the threat of exposing my wicked crime to my beloved wife and brother. Jesus. Under that threat, I have done this man's bidding for months now, killing those he demanded I kill. As I watched my former mentor perish before my eyes at the jaws of the hound I commanded, I realized that I had lost the last shred of decency within me and sunk to the level of a wild beast. There is no path back to the light. Be it I or my dear friend Asogi who dies this night, I am eternally damned. To my extortioner, <gasps> male strongheart, <coughs> May you feel the jaws of the beast at your throat every time you swallow. Oh. Shoot. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Gavel. So now we know. Yes, Clint Van Zeeks was a murderer. But somebody was directing him and naming his victims. No, not naming any names. Mm hmm his extortioner, Lord Male Strongheart. It was you! <laughs> Lord Strongheart, a moment ago, you claimed that what the court has just heard could destroy justice in this country. But you weren't trying to protect justice at all. Yourself. All you were trying to do was conceal the secret of your true nature. And the, countless, <clears throat> and the countless lives you've sacrificed up till now. It just didn't make sense to me that the third victim, the former Lord Chief Justice, was my brother's benefactor and a man of lofty principles. As I said, Clint had no possible reason to kill the man. But Strongheart did. Mm. But you did, didn't you, Lord Strongheart? To eliminate the man who stood between you and the office you'd set your sights on. So you used your own hunting dog, Lord Clint Van Zeeks, to take him down. <laughs> it had to be done. <gasps> wow. London's unsavory shadows are deep, and the arm of the law fails to reach their depths. Crime must be cut off at the roots, 
But the Lord Chief Justice at the time couldn't see that. He was weak. Lofty principles, you say? Tantamount to cowardice, if you ask me. Which is why I took his place, in order to fight the crime he was allowing to spread like wildfire. By murdering the man. The Reaper, the Professor. The name makes no difference. The name makes no difference. As I've explained countless times already, it was all done for the furtherance of law and order in London. Objection! Are you... are you going to legitimize the murder of my father now, too? Ah, Genshin Asogi. Well, that was unfortunate. I had fully intended to send him back to Japan, as we'd agreed. I don't believe you! It was you, wasn't it? You killed him! <laughs> no. It wasn't me who took your father's life. Then who? On the night following his mock execution, I went to Logate Cemetery at three in the morning with Jigoku. <gasps> J-Judge Jigoku! There had to be a collaborator on the Japanese side to manage Asogi's treatment after his repatriation. Jigoku had fierce ambition. It made him easy to manipulate. <laughs> Ten years ago, after he'd <laughs> stood trial for the destruction of the witness stand, I had words with him. <laughs> when I told him the position of Minister of Foreign Affairs could be his, he couldn't agree fast enough. <laughs> Seishiro, you fool. As you know, Asogi escaped the prison in a closed casket and was subsequently interred. We intend to dig him we intended to dig him out of his grave before he ran out of air. But sadly, all did not go to plan. Oh. Uh, uh, I, I don't know who that's going to be. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, Drebber. Oh, Drebber. Jesus, Jebus. Ah! Something like that. I, I guess it was kind of. Ah! <laughs> it's, it's something like that. And then uh, there was an unexpected visitor to the cemetery with his own ideas about digging up graves. A man who witnessed that what nobody was supposed to see. Enoch Drebber. Of course. I knew grave robbers frequented London cemeteries, but that grave on that particular night. Uh, oh, is that is a as a blast? If the people find out the I guess, blast, if the people find out the convict wasn't really executed, the scandal will rock the very foundations of the empire. Then. Oh, oh no, this will be Seishiro, right? Yeah. <clears throat> then what do we do? Shoot him, Mr. Jigoku. Shoot Asogi at once. He can't live now this has happened. He has to go. What are you talking about? We had an agreement. You promised him he could return to Japan. Everything has changed now. If the truth got out because of everything has changed now, if the truth got out because of this, both of us would be finished. Forever. Ugh. Come on, Jigoku. Do it! Pull the trigger! Shoot! Why not shoot Drebber? I was gonna say, guys, why don't you just execute Drebber then? If you didn't care about... You know, you've already got the hole there. Just shoot Drebber. Put Drebber in the hole. Eh, whatever. Jigoku shot Asogi from the shadows. The grave robber was so close, the blood sprayed over his coat. He fled as fast as his legs would carry him. Then, Jigoku and I put Asogi's body back in the grave from which he'd just emerged. Jesus Christ. When I later learnt of the waxwork modeler's presence at the scene as well, I made her swear of to two things. Never to remove the professor's mask. 
and never to speak of the events of that night. And with that, the secret was buried along with Asogi's corpse. So, now you know what really happened in Logate Cemetery that night. <laughs> I suppose shooting... Oh, blimey. I suppose shooting Genshin, I guess, would have been like, well, nobody's going to believe a ghost story, but... But yeah, leaving Madam two spells as well, that's... Ooh, risky business. Like, every, I, I imagine everyone should have been shot that night, I guess. <laughs> Maybe. It was Jigoku, your Japanese acquaintance who killed Asogi in the end, you see? He claims to be the man's friend, but when push came to shove, he pulled the trigger. Should have shot you instead. <laughs> Just before Mr. Jigoku left the courtroom earlier, he said that the assassin exchange proposal was a demand from his British counterpart, not a request. So you coerced him too, using what happened in the graveyard. By that time, Jigoku was the Minister of Foreign Affairs, negotiating international treaties with Britain. You can imagine what would have happened if it came to light he'd murdered a compatriot ten years earlier. He would have lost everything. I merely reminded him of that. How do you sleep at night? Horlicks. <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> so there's our Chris. <laughs> oh no. But how does he sleep at night? Oh. You're doing it. Are we, are we doing it? Okay. I didn't I want mean... to. I wanted to give it a little bit longer because of me making a very poor. Uh, poor. Making a poor theory that's well, we obviously not. Well, you say obviously. True. We, no, you say that, but we don't know. Well, it's the will still, part's it not could true. Still, it could still be true. Yeah, it could, yeah, yeah the, I, I it, rambled on for like a couple of minutes. Well, more, the, you more. might you might not be incorrect about the whole manuscript thing. It's just yeah, it wasn't in the will, but it could be something could be in the manuscript about. I guess just Iris. the whole thing of what happened. <clears> I guess maybe. But yeah, I guess alas, we must <gasps> no. pause for now. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. Fine. But it must be done. Fine. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching once again. If you do like what we do, then please consider giving us a like, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell. You'll be notified of our video uploads every Wednesday and Saturday. And while you're waiting in the meantime, why not check out our other content as well? We've got quite a bit, so it should keep you going for a little while. <laughs> yeah. And until next time. We'll see you again. Catch you in the next one, everybody. And remember, everyone, if somebody asks you to shoot a friend in a graveyard, they probably don't have your best interests at heart. <laughs> <laughs>